Hello there everybody, it is me Feaser Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 Speed Build. So today we're building this Holiday Christmas Inn. Um, this is the third and last build in a series of builds I'm doing to celebrate the holiday season. In case you guys missed the other two builds, they're already up on the channel at this point, so you guys can go ahead and check those out as well. And for those of you who are watching on the day this comes out, I just want to wish you all a Happy New Year! Um, I'm planning to put this build out either on on the 28th or the 29th so it's only gonna be a couple of days until the new year starts so this is just so crazy I can't believe it's already 2019 somebody pinched me um 2018 has been such a wonderful year for me and all I can say is just thank you thank you to all of you guys who've been so supportive throughout my journey and I can't wait to see what the future has in store I also have to apologize for all of the traffic background noise you guys can probably hear i know it can get really annoying unfortunately i literally have no time to record this um my flight leaves in a couple of hours i'm literally dying because i still need to do a little bit of christmas shopping i also want to get a haircut um so wish me luck but anyway this is one of my priorities for now i really want to finish this series and this is the build i decided to finish off the series because i wanted it to end with a bang this is definitely the largest of all the three builds i've done for this mini series um this is actually the second Second one that I built though. The last one I built was actually the bakery one, but I decided to save this one for last because like I said, I want to end the year with a bang. Pun intended, I'm sorry. But anyway, this lot is actually a restaurant. Unfortunately, we don't have hotels in The Sims 4. Uh, so the closest thing we can have is a restaurant and a bunch of my summer friends um, came up with this idea to actually make a restaurant into ho a hotel. I think um, Irrelevant Sims was the first person I saw do this. Um, and I think maybe Hey Harry as well, I don't know. But yeah, um, this shape of the hotel was actually inspired by something I found in Google. I think it was like in Rhode Island or in Pennsylvania or something like that. Basically, I was going for kind of like this quintessential American kind of like rustic quaint style, I guess. Um, definitely, a little bit inspired by Christmas villages, but kind of like less cartoony, if you guys get what I mean. Uh, so yeah, this hotel overlooks the Christmas market and it's beautiful. It's very, very beautiful, especially at night. Um, this structure itself is actually kind of like split into two parts. There's the actual structure of the hotel itself. Um, and then there's kind of like an annex where on the ground level is the restaurants located and then on the upper level are some additional guest rooms. And speaking of guest rooms, this hotel has a total of four guest rooms which can accommodate two sims each and each guest room also has its own um, ensuite bathroom as well um, and then on the ground level there is a restaurant area which is actually something that i really really enjoyed building i really really love the restaurant it looked so so awesome i'm super proud of it i can't wait for you guys to see it uh, but yeah um for this hotel i kind of just tried my best to make it look kind of like realistically plausible. I know I say this in all of my builds, but that's kind of like just my personal aesthetic. So um, I think one thing that makes um, things look a lot more realistic are kind of like um, my college professor refers to this as typographies, I guess, which are, you know, shop signs, shutters, um, posters, um, what else, like um, balconies, like all of these like other things basically it's like miscellaneous decoration and i feel like those really um help with the effect um this is just me um figuring out the floor plan for this upper level because i wanted to fit in as many guest rooms as i can so um i ended up with four guest rooms um and yeah i think i've already talked about this earlier um but yeah Downstairs, there is kind of like a lobby area, and then uh, the actual restaurant itself. Um, and let's see, what else should I talk about? Um, you guys know Christmas usually is a very, very busy time of year for m many people. Um, it's particularly 
really busy for me because for those of you guys who don't know, I live away from my mom and dad. I live in an apartment in the city and my mom and dad live in the countryside in another island. So I only get to go home once or twice a year. Um, earlier this year, like a, a couple of months ago, I did had to go home because a cousin of mine got married. But usually I only get to go home during the Christmas season, which is why Christmas is such a special special time of the year for me because I've been living away for like the past eight years um, ever since I started college um, and I, I I'm just I'm just so happy to be able to see my parents get to, get to spend time in my childhood home get to meet some of my family and friends that I've never seen for like years so it's such an amazing time of year, the year for me also the 24th of December just so happens to be my mom's birthday as well so every time we celebrate our christmas eve it's usually with literally a lot of relatives because everybody comes over to celebrate with my mom because it's her birthday we usually throw like one really really big party and it's really really awesome and exhausting for us who are um, you know, organizing the whole event behind the scenes. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of work for us, but it's, it's, it's also really, really exciting because, um, like I said, for me, it's really about seeing the family members that I haven't seen for so long and just, you know, having some time with my mom and dad because you know i never get to see them i only get to see them like once every couple months or so even though i do talk to my mom literally like every day uh but anyway also i spent so much time decorating the um outside of this build of course because you know um it's 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 christmas so i wanted this whole place to look really festive and filled with decoration so there's a lot of like nutcrackers and garlands and like wreaths and all of that stuff um which i feel like really give it that christmasy look um this is where by the way in case i sound really exhausted right now it's because of all the stress from all this Christmas holiday preparation, but it's fine. It's 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 fine. Anyway, um, I really really like what I did with the facade right here, just to kind of make things look a little bit more interesting. I decided to incorporate kind of like this facade area. I'd like to refer to this particular part of the building as the annex. So it has the restaurant on the ground level, and then upstairs there is an additional two guest bedrooms. So it's the annex. But yeah, I really really like the facade here in front because I feel like this is such a typical thing for many, you know, businesses to have. Um, so it's red, very very festive looking. I put those awnings, which I really like. Those came with get to work, I think. So yeah, it's it's really awesome. Uh, but yeah, let me guys. Well, what, what what? Let me guys. What? Um, let me know what you guys have planned for the holidays. Actually, I'm really really curious. Um, I know that not everybody celebrates Christmas, and that's okay. Um, but you 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 guys let me know like what you guys are planning to do. Um, Obviously, like I said earlier, we're going to be very, very busy. Um, you know, we have our Noche Buena, which is kind of like Christmas Eve dinner. It's not really a dinner. It's more of like a buffet. <laughs> so a couple of days before Christmas, like literally all of my relatives that live nearby come over to our house to prepare like food for my mom's birthday, which is, which is really fun. I get to see my aunt. Um, some of my aunts live literally like right next door, so they come over, help prepare and stuff, set the table, um, decorate stuff, even though um, we usually decorate like a month before Christmas. Um, so at this point, like we should oh you know what so i went home last october i think my cousin got married october 25th and we already have a christmas tree <laughs> i mentioned in my previous video that the philippines has the longest christmas season and yeah we already had a christmas tree in october it made me really sad though because um the christmas tree that we had growing up it was a really really big christmas tree i'm gonna say it's like seven or eight feet tall or maybe more um unfortunately it's no longer with us i think it got destroyed i don't know it broke it got broken for some strange reason and that christmas tree was so special because i remember um 
as a kid. I, I remember buying it like maybe 10 or plus years ago. Um, my mom, we went to the city basically um, on the other side of the island that we lived in. So it was like a two or three hour drive away from our ho our house. And we, we basically wanted to buy a Christmas tree because I think we wanted to replace our old Christmas tree that we had. Anyway, we wanted to buy a Christmas tree. We went to the city to get ourselves one. We got, we found a really, really beautiful big tree in this really awesome mall. Um, the thing is, it was such a struggle to actually bring it home with us um, because there was no like service that wanted to take us home because it was like a two to three hour drive. Nobody wanted to bother themselves with like, um, a giant Christmas tree because like where do where do you put like an eight foot Christmas tree in your taxi you know like so yeah it was kind of a struggle um, we ended up hiring a van <laughs> which usually like um, carries maybe a dozen people or a little bit less than a dozen people um, so we rented an entire van just for the three of us my mom my brother and myself um, we, we rented an entire van just so that we can get home and get that Christmas tree for us but at the end of the day it was really worth it because that Christmas tree was the bomb every time my relatives would come over they would always take pictures with that Christmas tree and it would be super super awesome uh, that was just a really um, funny and endearing, well it's not funny but it's kind of like an endearing story of the struggles I had with my mom. Um, yeah, it's like a shared struggle I guess because <laughs> the two of us, we were like in a in a distant place, we had no, we, we had no idea what we're, we were gonna do if nobody wanted to take us but in the end it all worked out so <laughs> thank freaking goodness. Uh, but anyway, right now we're actually working on the interior and um, this is is actually kind of like the main lobby area for the hotel. Try to keep it as festive looking as I can. I was able to use those Christmassy fireplaces which are super big. I wasn't able to incorporate any fireplace in my previous build which was the bakery which was kind of a bummer but I was able to incorporate some in this build which is really awesome because I really really like those festive looking fireplaces. Once again, I'm keeping it festive with the interior decoration. Um, there's a little hallway behind the staircase area where there is a closet and I imagine that would be the place where they would keep kind of like the luggage or something, you know, for like the um, people staying at the hotel. Um, and also over here on the outside, we are putting in some signs. As I mentioned earlier, it's really, really important to have those because it just makes everything look so much more realistic. Um, so yeah, I think I actually ended up putting in some decals over here. I think th those decals are actually supposed to be for a bakery, but those just look really cool. Um, I feel like they represented the type of restaurant I wanted this to be, which is kind of like a little bit more... I guess upscale. I don't want to say like fine dining, but it's kind of like a little bit more upscale than your usual diner, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so yeah. Um, so we're now working on the actual restaurant area, which is actually one of my favorite things that I built recently. I don't know why, but for some reason I haven't built that many restaurants, um, which is kind of a bummer because building restaurants is actually so much fun. Um, but yeah, this restaurant ended up having a total of... 10 dining areas um so there's so much space for the sims to come and enjoy a good meal um and it also has a giant giant kitchen as well uh so yeah that's that's pretty awesome <laughs> um so yeah once again i'm kind of keeping it really festive with the decoration with lots of reds and greens and also lots of woods as well to make things a little bit more cozy um one thing that I have noticed with these booths right here that came with Dine Out is that I think they changed. Um, when they first came out, I think they had like different interactions and stuff. So I feel like they changed it with an update because I tried to um, put tables on the booths and for some reason the tables weren't like snapping to the actual booths themselves. I know for a fact that you can put tables on boots, but I don't know why, but for some reason they just didn't work the way they used to, but that's fine. 
Uh, so this right here is kind of like the main lobby slash reception slash waiting area. Um, and I put like a little Christmas tree right here. And also kind of like a little um, charity Christmas gift type thing. Or at least that's what I imagine it to be. Um, growing up um, in a really, really small town in central Philippines, um, one of the most famous fast food chains in the country um they had this like christmas like corner i guess where there was a christmas tree and then there was like this giant box where um people can donate toys and they would give it to charity um so that's the idea for all of those christmas gifts that i just plop there by the way in case you guys can't hear it my neighbor upstairs is making so much noise i don't know why literally there's buses passing by outside there's a train passing by and my neighbor is like i don't know what they're doing i feel like they have kids but they always keep dropping like random stuff it's and it makes so much noise help send help uh um, but anyway, that's that, that's kind of like the downside of living in an apartment, I guess, with like hundreds of different people. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, you guys, I'm so curious if any of like restaurants near you or like fast food chains have like this charity donation thing, because um, I that 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 kind of just I, I don't know that made me feel so warm and fuzzy inside because there's actually so much good people um in the world like every time when i was a kid at least every time i would see that box it would be filled with like toys and stuff so so many people so many kids are giving away their toys for like you know the less for the less fortunate and that's like you know for me, that's like the best part of Christmas. It's like that Christmas spirit of giving and not necessarily receiving. And yeah, uh, oh, I love Christmas. Uh, it's my favorite time of the year. I'm pretty sure I've already said this before. <laughs> but yeah, um, we are kind of like just decorating this place with more Christmas decorations. So on that one wall right there, there are some Christmas cards. And then on the windows, there are some Christmas garlands. All of these came with seasons or the holiday patch um, that we got quite a while back. Um, so this is um, me trying to add in some additional dining areas. This is something I learned from one of my college professors. Um, every time you design a restaurant, um, you should always make sure to have different um, types of seating so you know there's booths there's tables for groups there's tables for couples so that's what i was trying to incorporate right there and then in one corner i have this little condiment area i guess for you know just for random condiments and like spices and i think there's also coffee here as well i really really love that table i think it came with seasons i'm assuming that that probably came with seasons but that has some really nice um embroidery on like the mantle of the table that looks like it's um christmasy stuff uh anyway just putting in some artworks by the way i love this rug well it's not a rug it's a carpet <laughs> i really really like that green carpet that came with vampires and then i found this like really interesting looking butler statue um this has a really really interesting description which is way too long to discuss but that's a really interesting statue i think that one actually came with a base game uh so yeah there's a lot of really interesting items that i don't really think i've used before so you know i'm really happy that i was able to use them in this build not sure if you guys caught it but outside i also put in like uh a pig that's carrying a sign um that one was also really really awesome and kind of like really funny as well um but yeah right now we're working on the kitchen area and i actually really really like this kitchen i do like a really awesome thing ab above like this kind of like chef station is that a chef station i don't know uh, <laughs> what are those things called i yeah i feel like those are chef stations by the way uh the college that i went to um is known for its like hotel and restaurants um degrees and stuff <laughs> and in our cafeteria they had like this place called the chef station so that's probably why i'm bringing this up and we have like this little chalkboard for like the menus and stuff oh this is the thing i was talking to you guys about i really really love this it's kind of like this 
range hood, I guess, for like the chef stations. Oh my gosh, I, I am really, really happy with that. It's basically like a shelf. I think that shelf actually came with Dine Out. Uh, so yeah, it's just an enlarged shelf with some grills above it and that one looked really really awesome once again it just made things look so much more realistic which makes me so so happy of course and then we're just pretty much adding in some um other kind of like security what are those things called like a thermostat and a fire alarm by the way that like sprinkler thing i finally figured out it works okay so when the sims 4 first came out i was like what is this sprinkler thing like what, what like how does this work um for those of you guys who have seen my mid-century build um it's like the atomic ranch house um while i was filming the house tour for that the house actually caught on fire. Now that house had one of those sprinkler things and I found out that where there's a fire, there's going to be a sprinkler that spawns where the fire is at and that's what's going to put out the fire automatically so your sims would have a much lesser chance of actually dying of burning to death. <laughs> so yeah, that was a neat little thing because I tried to get that to work um, for the longest time and I'm really really happy that I was finally able to get that to work uh, but yeah over here we have kind of like this alfresco dining area outside well yeah alfresco is already outside but you guys just saw me kind of like decorate the place with a lot of Christmassy decorations um, I'm not sure if this is necessarily the best place to eat at Christmas because, I mean, it is outside. People would probably freeze to death. Um, but I did put, like, a stove. <laughs> Funny story, um, one, um, subscriber, I guess, who also kind of is a friend, um, uh, basically went to Europe a couple of years ago and then he was posting photos of his trip to Europe and then on one of his photos I noticed that little stove thing um, and I realized that that's what actually people use to warm themselves out outside it's the stove I'm referring to the stove that came with um, dine out by the way so yeah I was like okay that actually works um, in in a really functional way that actually makes sense <laughs> anyway i'm just i just love sharing things that i learned with you guys because you know i want this to be a channel where we can really bond around the sim 4 which is kind of like one of my favorite games of all time uh, so hopefully um, you guys are also learning new stuff just like i am from you guys especially from the comments like oh my gosh like i don't i don't know whether it's you guys um or just curiosity or whatever but i just learned so so much in the comments so thank you so much to all of you guys who actually leave comments that are um you know really educational as far as gameplay goes because you would think that the sims 4 is really a simplistic game but there's so much that needs to be discovered um and even i have played the game for like thousands of hours i haven't discovered everything so um there's new features that we discover every day and i'm really really happy that i'm able to share that with you guys and talk talk about it with you guys uh so the last couple of rooms that we're going to be furnishing are some guest rooms and you guys can kind of get a basic idea on what all of these guest rooms look like all of the items i used are from cats and dogs um so yeah um it has this really quaint homey feel to it um all of the rooms have like a tv and a bed and um a closet the bigger rooms have a dresser um and then all of the rooms can accommodate two sims um for the bigger rooms we have two double beds and then for the smaller rooms over here in the annex area we have two single beds which by the way uh, for those of you guys who didn't know i actually am an architect in real life i'm, I'm not a licensed architect but i i do work as an architect and one of the things I worked on was actually a hotel, and most of the things I did there was actually um, figure out the interior layout for the hotel rooms. So I feel like this is a pretty realistic representation of what a hotel room would look like, especially for like, 
I guess budget hotels if that makes sense like le like low mm, yeah like a little bit less expensive hotel I don't know I, I imagine this hotel to be maybe three stars or like maybe four stars I don't know but to be fair though it looks really awesome like I love those like um, bedspreads they're just so festive looking and so cozy as well and I'm really really happy about that and then I think what else are we gonna do I don't think I include any footage of me actually furnishing the bathrooms so that will be done off camera so yeah last thing that we're gonna do are actually put some decorative cars on the outside just to make this look like an actual community lab but I think that's actually going to be it for this build. I feel like this is going to be my last build for 2018 so since this is going to be the last I just want to thank you guys so so much for all of the love and support that you guys have been giving me. It's been absolutely an amazing year and just thank you so much and I love you guys so much. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my commentary right here. You guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!